While you were drooling over McDonald's Big Mac vending machines, you may have missed Boeing's swanky new spacesuits and this 3D printable human skin. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where we're flipping out over the world's first snowmobile loop-de-loop. When Boeing's Starliner spacecraft launches in 2018, those lucky enough to be on board won't be orbiting in those clunky suits we saw in the shuttle era. Boeing's new spacesuits will be a whole 40% lighter than those used by NASA, while also being cooler and less claustrophobic. The suit's gloves will even work on touchscreens. The only drawback, of course, is that we'll all be blasting off while looking like Benny the Lego Spaceman. I could, uh, I could build a... I could build a... I could build a spaceship! Animal-based testing has been a major taboo in the cosmetics industry for decades now. So to test the efficacy and safety of products, companies have turned to using manufactured bits of human skin. Normally this involves using donations from plastic surgeries, breaking the samples down into their constituent parts, and then regrowing them. But a team of researchers from Spain have figured out how to streamline that process using a prototype 3D bioprinter. It's basically a crude version of what we saw in the fifth element. Cells from the patient are collected, cultured, and then fed into the printer, which spits them back out as functional skin tissue. With it, the team hopes to provide on-demand graphs for burn victims and provide commercial-scale skin samples for medical, cosmetic, and chemical tests. Quick! Somebody get L'Oreal on the line. And now for TLDR, where we do the week's reading for you. The Trump administration froze grants and contracts at the EPA, banned the USDA from speaking to the press, and issued a gag order to the National Park Service. Scientists created a viable semi-synthetic organism with artificial DNA. Lyft announced its plans to expand to 100 new cities by the end of the year. Google scrubbed nearly 2 billion bad ads from its servers in 2016. And HP recalled 101,000 batteries due to fire risk. Get well soon, Carrie, and have a great weekend, everybody.